Hey, this is Joao, the uh, Hypo Motley boa constrictor. He was born in 2008. A um, little story behind his name because it's, I know it's weird unless you're Portuguese. Um, he was literally the biggest asshole you'll ever meet uh, when I first got him. And uh, we couldn't think of a name for him. And I don't know if you guys know this, my name's John. And uh, we just thought, like, you know, he's so evil and. You know, like when I'm an asshole, <laughs> my family has nicknames for people when uh, they're in bad moods. And uh, mine's just, I got stuck with Joao. So they're like, alright, well, he's always an asshole, why don't we name him Joao? So that's how we got his name. Uh, anyway, I'm pretty, I'm like 99% sure he's Central American just from his size and just the way he looks. And I don't know if you guys can tell. But, um, like I said, he was in 08. He's, I, I have to look at my records, but I actually think he's the oldest of all my 09s. And, uh, he's one of the smallest. He's, I'd be surprised if he's just got to three feet. Um, I have a meeting. He's going to be eating medium rats once a week. Uh, maybe even every 10 days, just because. I want my males to be uh, more muscular than, you know, just fat, basically. Uh, like I said in previous videos, I'm going to be breeding him probably with Sally, the uh, salmon pastel, or with uh, Chloe, the, oh, my phone just rang, or with Chloe, the albino, which you'll see uh, in a later video. Um, even before that though, just because he's a motley and it is a dominant trait, if uh, Paula does good this year and she breeds for me, or even if she doesn't, uh, next season, not the one coming up, but the next one, I think I'm going to try him with her, just so I can get, you know, some motleys and some hypos. Um, that'll be really cool. Uh, but yeah. This is him. I don't know if you can see his eyes, but they're like black. Uh, they're really cool. And then he has that mean stripe at the end of his tail. Oh, I have him in a uh, 34 quart Sterilite tub, by the way. That's his enclosure for now until I can get him in a bigger cage. He'll probably be one of the last ones though because he's so small. And he's not growing very fast. One thing you he does have that I don't know if you guys can tell in this video, he's like 100% pure muscle. I mean, the only way you can tell is if you hold him because he clings to you. Like, I've never felt a snake with so much muscle mass. Like, all my other snakes, you know, have a little squish to them. I, I don't know. <laughs> I've never held anybody else's snakes, but they're not so much fat, but... I don't know, his bottom, like, the bottom, his bottom scales are just so, he has so much muscle on the bottom, and you can actually, you can really, really feel, like, all his strength, and, yeah. That's a wow. Hope you enjoyed.